The Christian life is hard. It's not smooth sailing. It has to be hard. And when people come and they say, Pastor, I, I, I've been hit by one crisis after the other. I'm asking myself, I'm beginning to ask myself, am I really saved? And I would like to smile, but you want to be respectful of a person's circumstances. And I tell them, I said, no, that's exactly how it ought to be. If you came to me and said, my life's smooth sailing. Ever since I became a Christian 20 years ago, everything is just going fine, no problems. I would be concerned. But all those who want to live godly lives in Christ Jesus must face persecution. And persecution is not only people dragging us to prisons. You might remember we have other enemies too than the world. We have the devil. We have the old nature. The flesh. There's spiritual warfare. There's a whole army of demons who serve the evil one who want to bring us to fall, who want to discourage us, who want to paralyze us. They cannot take salvation from us, but the next best thing is to paralyze us. Have we forgotten that there's a spiritual world around us? There's war. We are on a battlefield, and on a battlefield, life is hard. We are not in heaven yet. Paul writes out of prison. And again we ask Paul, how do you do this? And here's the answer. Paul is taking his own advice from chapter 4, which we will hear later on, but I read it for you. Chapter 4, verse 8, a very well-known text. But now it's in the context. He says, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, he thinks, he meditates on these things. Today we would say Paul is constantly counting his blessings. So he's counting his blessing. He, he says, this is how you can deal with difficult circumstances. You do not focus your mind, your thoughts on the things that are before your eyes. You seek to look beyond them. You do not walk by sight. You walk by faith. 